The reason we're good in the school is we have good teachers. That's what I want. An esteem and pride that we're actually pretty good. And you in Ontario are very good. That is the most critical thing that we need to foster in our system. We actually have a profession that's pretty damn good at what it does. We need to back that. We'll lose it if we don't. Yeah, I'm still trying to see, like, I like Carol Dweck's work where she th looked at one of the mind frames is, do you think that achievement is fixed or do you think it's changeable? Now, regardless of the truth of the matter, those teachers who believe it's changeable are more successful than those who believe it's fixed. Do you believe it's changeable? Do you believe every student in your class can reach what success looks like? Are you prepared to go in to a class of kids and tell them before they start the lessons, this is what success looks like? Or do you go in and say, let's do it and at the end I'll tell you if you're successful or not? Now for some kids they, they like that game. University students love it. Just tell us what to do and we'll do it. But that's not very successful for a lot of our kids in the school. And simply going in and, and, and having that mind frame that my job is to expose what success looks like. And that means I'm going to have to know it. That means I'm going to have to trust myself to say to the kids, I can help you get there. Those are powerful, powerful differences. But then I said, what is the difference between those teachers who really make the difference? Now, it's not that they cared for you. Some of them actually, for one of mine, for example, Mr. Tomlinson, he was unbelievably strict. It's two things. Firstly, they cared that you wanted to know their subject. And the second thing that's common is they often had expectations for you that exceeded what you think you could do. Like, I have this argument that um, if, if you look at the visible learning work, the number one, the number one on that list is self-reported grades, student expectations. And what that means is if I go into your class and I say to your kids, I'm going to give you a test. But before you do the test, I want you to predict what you're going to get. That is what kids are the best at in school, by a long way. Like it's a big gap between number one and two. What kids learn very quickly is to set safe targets. I got, an, I got a B last time, I'll go for a B, maybe a B plus this time. Remember those days we were at university and a late night went out in the park, oh my God, if I could just get a C, I'd be happy. We set safe targets. I think the fundamental role of school is never to meet the needs of kids. It is never to help kids reach their potential. The fundamental role of a teacher is to help kids exceed their potential. And that's what those excellent, passionate teachers do. They know you can do better. Now, they also happen to be usually very well equipped to make you do better. But they never accept what you think is good enough. Like when I was going through schooling um, right up to year 12, we had to do maths. And up about year 9 and 10, I was thinking, you know, something I'd, give me a chance and I'll give up. Now, when I got to year 12, I got Mr. Tomlinson. And yeah, I was doing okay, but not that very well. He was stunning in the way that he said, well, you're all going to pass year 12. Now, we had no hope of passing it. This is not what you call the brightest bunch in the world. He said, you're going to do it. And he certainly drilled it into us, and I mean drilled in a positive way. He certainly gave us that confidence. He gave us the skills. He was an excellent teacher in doing it. He gave us an incredible number of worked examples. Very often when he struggled, he gave us the answer. He said, now work it out, which is quite different to most math teachers who say, work it out. And kids learn very quickly in maths. If you get an answer, that's the job even if it's wrong. That's not very conducive to learning. He was very impressive at giving us that skill. Now I have, um, thanks to OISI, I have a PhD from, from the University of Toronto, which includes maths and stats. Now, that required one teacher in my case that saw a potential in me that I didn't see in myself. So, I, wow, from a personal point of view, absolutely it's important. And when I go out there and see teachers who are prepared to help kids exceed where they're beyond what they can do, that to me is just magic. I want to see more of it. And don't get me wrong, I see a lot of it. I want to see more of it.